hi there this is Jada welcome to my channel today I'm reviewing a very cool product I've been waiting on to try it's the Patrick Ta measure brow wax I'm so excited to try it on today I have the clear and the tinted with me I will try one on each brow to compare how they look and before we go ahead and jump into the review please subscribe to my channel like the video and follow me on my Instagram page let's go ahead and jump into it Drink after drink cause I'm pining over her But it only makes it ten times worse and we're on the Sephora page right now. We have the Patrick Tom Measure Brow Shaping Wax. It comes in clear and tinted. It retails for $22. And when you scroll down, it will tell you it is an innovative defining wax that will maximize the shape of your brows. The highlighted ingredients, it claims it have growth peptides, which supports healthy new growth. And it have glycerin and olive oil, which conditions soften and protect the brows and the skin the ingredient call out is free of sulfates sls sles parabens formaldehydes synthetic fragrances this product is also vegan cruelty free and gluten free what else you need to know strong yet flexible a few upward strokes of the formula tames and sets even the most stubborn brows into a perfectly pushed up feathered and full look Right down below, it will tell you the Patrick's technique, exactly how he does it and the steps he follows, which I will be showing you right in the demo in a few seconds. I'm really living for this package. This rose gold mirror effect is so pretty and luxurious. So I'll go ahead and start with the clear one. So it looks like this from the inside. In Patrick Ta tutorial, he said to spray the product itself. So I will be using the Cover Effects High Performance Spray for this today. I'll be using a clean spoolie brush and I will grab the product into it. And then I will push the product into my eyebrows making sure like each hair is coated by the product so I'll just push it like this in the opposite direction and then bring it back and keep pushing it in upward motions And I'll just give it a moment to set in and uh, dry a little bit and then I will laminate it and push it into my skin. It kind of like a coconutty smell but it's very light. You can't really tell. I really like the smell. It smell like a, smells like a baby butt, like a baby powder product but in a nice way. So it looks like it doesn't have any white residue or anything like that, which is really great. I'll go ahead and take the bottom of the spoolie brush and push it against my skin, like so. Wow, that's amazing. I really love this product super cool but I will go and groom it and fluff it up so this will just keep it hold in place and doesn't move but I will just brush through it just to make it more fluffy like this is the ultimate model bushy brow <laughs> I really like it there's so much a big difference between this brow and this one. This one looks like I have a push-up bra for my eyebrow. And this one is just sad and looking down. But we'll fix it in a minute. This is a Morphe Jeffree Star collection. I'll take the spoolie side and I will do this brow with the tinted uh, product. 
so this is how it looks in the inside it just have like um, a light shade of brown I use the same spray that I used uh, for the clear side it, the cover effects and I'll just work this pulley into the product I like how like the the container is flat that is so easy to put your spoolie brush and grab the product uh, Patrick Ta said do not like drag the product all the way up to the skin so it doesn't like uh, like stain it or add like this shade to your own skin so I'm gonna be really careful and just work it into my eyebrow hairs so I keep pushing it up and then I'll give it a moment for it to settle down and dry a little bit and then I'll push it down with the brush side here to laminate it into my skin so I think you can all tell the difference between the tinted and the clear one this have like a shade very light shade not like too crazy that it will not I don't think it will like fill in the brow like between the skin where you need like in a sparsy area but it's tinting your eyebrow hairs and giving it more like a fuller effect if you say so so I'm gonna go ahead and do with the flat side of the brush and push it down And that's it I do really like both but I just I'll add some powder here to fill in the sparsy area and give a final thought the powder I will use is the Anastasia Beverly Hills in shade dark brown it looks like this from the inside so I'm gonna mix like the dark and the light shade together because I don't want it to be like too much and I'll just tap off and I'll see where I need like right here I need some love just very touch it very lightly like that oh wow it already made a big difference and right here at the bottom of the arch and then I can add the darker shade more towards the tail area here I'll just push the powder so my final thoughts about the Patrick Ta Major Brow Wax I really like the product it's like what bushy model brown dreams are made of it just lives up to the hype and I do prefer the clear side more I just I feel like I see more of the definition of each hair brow and I do like the tinted one as well but I feel like it gives more of a um, groomed a uh, fuller effect if you say so with the tint but I just I'm leaning more towards the clear one it just did have this more this trendy effect that's very popular right now but other than that I'm giving it five stars I do enjoy how the package look the product but I wish it was a little bit more product inside the container for the price point since it doesn't like come with a brush or a spray or anything like that like just 0.17 ounces 5 grams of product hopefully it will stay long with me but other than that that's my only complain that i wish it was more product thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the review for today and let me know in the comments below if you do have the product and if you like it or not or if you use it in a different way please let me know i would love for you to share that and thank you so much i will see you in my next video